everybody. Good morning. So we're going to do a new video. Yeah, speed trip, nice reviews. Not one of these. Very nice cars. You see the Maybach we drove last time. SLS final edition. Very nice car. No, not a SLS. And we got a red SLS that's just sold. Look what a very nice car this is. So, but that's not the car I'm going to drive today because today we have a very nice one. I had it on my list for a long time. Outside, very sunny day. It's a pretty bit cold day. It's about zero degrees. So today we're going to drive this very nice white CL55 AMG and this is the compressor model so it's going to be very nice last time I did a uh, W215 CL was a, a CL500 very nice car so I was looking already for this particular model because I think in between the CL500 and the uh, CL55 AMG the non-compressor model non I don't think there is much difference because of the weight of the car so I was looking for this particular model to drive for a test drive. So here it is in very nice white. are just very good of this particular car I think it's just beautiful so this is a 2005 car this particular model came on the market in 1999 and was uh, the AMG model came in 2001 and 2002 you got a non compressor model and this car came on the market in 2003 to 2006 you got a compressor version so uh, M113 K engine compressor engine Delivers 500 horsepower and 700 newton meters. So, what we're going to do in this video, show you around the car, just in all the test drive and review videos, and then we're going to drive it. So, let's see. So, 2005 model in very nice white, nice sunroof that came standard in this particular model. Soft closed doors, of course. Also, the trunk is soft closed. Very nice inch opening. I think it's pretty cool how this works. It gives you a bigger step in into the car. It's not like an Audi that's 90 degrees. That's I think that's also very nice. You can have an Audi. It's open still here. It's also pretty good. But this also gives you more step in room. Also when you are in a parking space or something. Wooden trim. Electrical windows. Heated seats were standard. Cooled seats was an option. So there was a lot of standard in this particular car navigation, leather interior was standard, they were never with uh, normal uh, interior, it was all, always leather seats. And uh, yeah, like I said, cold seats, uh, cold seats are is just an optional thing. So very nice interior. It looks much like an S-Class, I think the CL is just like, now they call it an S-Class Coupe. I think that's more suited name for this particular model also. So it's a uh, very clean car. Got a lot of space for stuff to put in. You got just a telephone holder, and you got also a bigger compartment when you push this. I think this one is also cool. You can see the ventilation uh, outcome there. So that's uh, very, very nice. Just a very nice car. I thought this was going to be electrical to the front, yeah. So it's moving, you see the electrical to the front to the car you can step in into the back. It's give you a better step in. Let's see if I can sit here a bit. So for me it's a little bit low. But it's still it's a very nice place to be you got off of course you got an armrest. Some more space in here. No compartments. You can also drop the headrest in here in the back and also put it back again. And there's also electrical windows for the side windows. What I really like about this particular car, let's get out, is that you got an open window style. 
So if you open the both windows, you got a very big opening. So there's no style in between. So I think that's very nice. So this car came stand on an 18-inch 18 inch, 18 inch wheels, 265 in the back. We've got 245 in the front, ventilated disc, six post calipers. In the back we've got four part AMG calipers. I think this line is really this is what they're giving the car a very nice look, is that window line. Very long tail. It's a very good look. AMG tailpipes, both sides. Trunk. Big trunk about 500 liters for 490 or something. Also CD changer in here. CD changer is in here. And you got still a spare wheel in this car, a full spare wheel. Later models got an, uh, a, a wheel that you need to inflate so it will poop, pop out so it has it needed less space in the boot. So pretty big space. This is not electrical, this boot space, like in the CLS later on. But this uh, is still soft close. So that's very nice. So what also is nice to know is that the materials that are used on the exterior are pretty special. So for example the roof, the roof, the side panel on the back, the doors and the hood are aluminium. The front panels, the front fenders and the trunk is from a thermoplastic, non-reinforced plastic material like a polymide plastic. So it was uh, for minor impacts you not have that much damage. The inner door styles are from magnesium. The only uh, outside uh, of the car that's from steel are those win these window styles. And the underbody of the car is from steel. So the rest is all uh, different materials. That can give some problems when all the cars you have sometimes you have uh, some corrosion underneath the, underneath the paint. I have seen some cars that had some problems in the roof line here. There's some problems with uh, corrosion. But this particular car is just uh, very good condition. This particular car has done 41,000 kilometers. So let's show you under the hood. A nice decal, of course. The last car I drove was a very big discussion about if it was an original AMG or not, and I already said it was, of course, just the decals. That car has also the same decals as this car, but it is not, not a real compressor car. So let's have a look. Tricky. So the famous engine. So this particular engine came in the SL, the CL like this, the S class and the E class. And it just uh, became a very popular engine. So this M113 engine is also based on a non-compressor uh, engine. So uh, it's reinforced more. So it's a big uh, EHI compressor engine, root style. So double uh, spills in here. <coughs> so it delivers 0 0.8 bar or 11.6 psi as a boost pressure. So uh, it gives this car, this car is really coming alive with this engine. So very nice, so let's go, to, let's go do a test drive in this beauty. Oh, very nice, CL55. Windows close. Here is going down. That sounds pretty good. So let's go. Ventilation speed a little bit down. Is that possible? That's good, I guess. So, very long car. Very long coupe. So this is a 2005 car. So, uh, like I said, W215 model, built between 1999 and 2006. And uh, the AMG model was available from 2001. First two years it was uh, a non-compressor model. After that, in 2003 to 2006, this particular model was available with this engine. So it was the 5.4 liter, uh, some people call it the 5.5. It's a 5. I thought it was 
4535cc, so it's more of 4.5.4. It's the same base engine as the AMG 5.5 engine that was also used from off 1997 in the E55 and in the S55, the W220, no more spray it. And uh, it's, reinf it's a reinforced engine uh, to handle the compressor uh, compressor boost. So uh, this particular engine is built to hold on 700 horsepower. So that's very, very good. So you got a very strong engine. So close the windows fully. <coughs> so this particular car made 500 horsepower. There's some discussion about it's 476 or 500 horsepower. But in my opinion, I looked at all the stats and that sort of stuff, and they make, it, it should make all 500 horsepower. So I think it's only on paper that an SL makes more power. But uh, last week I wrote a, a piece, an article, that stated that an uh, SL55 had a bigger throttle body. So I'm going to look into that if, this, if the part numbers are not the same or are the same. But I think it's just all the same. So yeah, it's much like an S-Class inside here, so I think it's more an S-Class Coupe than a CEL, the different model, but uh, at that time it was still stated as, an, uh, as, as a CL. So this particular car was standard delivered with uh, ABC suspension, so that's a uh, hydraulic suspension uh, system, high pressure hydraulic suspension system, that is uh, having 13 sensors in the car that controls the body roll, and the stability, that sort of stuff. So you have uh, a few options. You have, a, you have. You also can push ABC Sport on. And you got a more stiffer suspension, and it will control uh, body roll. So you have less body roll in the corners, and it's just really an on and off button. It's not uh, time delay or something. And if you push it, it's right away. It's very stiff. Sometimes there are some issues with that ABC suspension. It can be very expensive to repair, but. Uh, if you search online aftermarket, there are a lot of uh, things to get to uh, repair the, for example, the ABC, ABC pump. So it's not, it has, that does not have to be that expensive. If you are very, if you can do yourself some things, then it's not expensive. And it's not that all those cars will fill straight away. That's not a thing. But uh, if you're going to buy a model like this in the CL is standard, and also in the S-Class AMG models it was standard. So. Just test it and have a look underneath the car if everything is uh, leak free. There's no leaks and that sort of stuff, and it's just working good. So, it's also the ASB suspension is also doing is in, in between 60 and 160, it lowers the car a little bit for uh, better aerodynamics and uh, fuel uh, economy. And uh, you can also raise it by itself. I thought it was uh, up to 6 centimeters or something, it was pretty high. You can raise it if you're going to over a rough road or something. But just in standard mode, is already driving very good it's very comfortable and uh, you don't feel a lot of in the road but there's also not a lot of body roll so uh, it controls it very good yeah, you got 13 sensors in the car so it should do the sound is I think it's very nice it's starting to uh, come alive I think with the models uh, after 2000 just after 2000 they were a bit quiet I thought but uh, still more and more on AMG models are getting a better sound that's also heard in the engine in the, of in the uh, exterior interior so with, with lower rpms you don't have much uh, much uh, gas opening not much much further opening you don't hear the engine a lot but that's also very nice so if, you, if you're driving on the autobahn long distances you don't have that sound but if you using the engine you get a very nice sound so the m 13 k engine is a single overhead camshaft engine with uh, two uh, intake valves and one exhaust valve so they changed that uh, in the 90s because they want to have less friction in the engine so you could get a better fuel economy with this particular car fuel economy is a thing I think so it can use a lot of fuel but if you drive normally it's pretty good so this particular car weighs 1895 kilos so that's empty weight so uh, say it's just under 2000 kilos of, uh, of weight so uh, it should do 0 to 100 in about 4.6 seconds. If you look to in the weight difference in between those cars that were delivered with this engine, the CLS is a little bit lighter, it weighs 1820 kilos empty, and the E55 is even lighter more, it's 1790 kilos. The S class is heavier, 1905 kilos. But on paper, they are all doing almost the same. On paper, the SL is the fastest 
but uh, if you read a test from the car, it was an English test that stated the E55 was faster than the SL55. So, and this one is in between, about 4.6 seconds on paper, it's just as fast as uh, a CLS. So it's just a very fast car. You can hear it, it's just... It's just incredible. It pulls. Also about transmission. 7.22.6 5-speed transmission, very famous transmission, very strong. It can handle stock around 11, 1100 Newton meters, so this really in between the specs, so it's pretty easy for this transmission. You got the three modes, manual, comfort and sport. And sport mode uh, uh, is also sometimes stated as standard. But uh, what it does, if you put it in sport mode, then you can also see it on the dash, then it will uh, adapt it to the driver's uh, uh, how you say that? How you're driving. So if you're pushing more throttle, it will shift faster and later. So it uh, adapts itself. So if I push it, for example, in sport, it also shifts later. And the grip is also phenomenal. Only in first gear, if you want to do an acceleration, we will, we will see that. I've been mean, doing an acceleration test, it's almost not possible to uh, get traction if you got uh, in these conditions. It's colder weather, it's a little bit colder outside, it's not that easy to do. So, yeah, let's do an acceleration test. I think I'm going to love this. Yeah, so first the menu. So, uh, I can Look through the menu roll, so this almost done 40, uh, 41,000 kilometers, that's very good. Audi, I got off, navigation, I got off. What I also really like is the, the needle is just like it's floating, so it's not, it just looks like it's not a test. So you can see fuel economy and that sort of stuff, it's all in there, my range, so my fuel tank is almost empty, so I don't, it's not a good thing, of course. So have a look how I go. Here it is. So got this is speedo. So uh, yeah, for the rest you got cooling temperature. Here you got your fuel tank, and of course the RPM gauge. So put sport suspension in. Put sport suspension in the hardest setting. So I leave the transmission. Look, as you can see, if normally you drive away, it starts in second gear, but I put it in sport mode. So let's see how good it is. Test control I just leave on because I think it's better. It's a pretty cold day outside, so it should do zero to hundred in four point six seconds. So let's have a look how good it is. Grip is pretty good, almost from forty kilometers was already grip. So manual shifting also works pretty good and now four gear can shift up. So in front of a corner, shifting back is a little bit slowly in combination to uh, today's standard. The rest the reaction is pretty good. I hope you like this review about this CL55 AMG 5.5 compressor, 500 horsepower. Don't forget that, eh? It's just, hear the sound. Just incredible. So, um, this particular model is for sale at passioncar.de. There's a link below the video. Have a look on their website. They have a very nice uh, collection of cars for sale. Very wide range of Mercedes, but also other cars. So, just have a look. There's a link below the video. I also want to mention that my website is online, jamespeedshop.com. Have a look there. I'm uh, busy with putting more uh, information uh, with the videos, so you can read it also on uh, 
jamespizza.com There's also a link to this particular car Also to the advertisement of this car So over also to the passioncar.da website So have a look there, I hope you liked it, I really enjoyed it I'm really a fan of this particular engine uh, And I think it's still competing with the 63 AMG I know the 63 engine is faster above 200 but underneath it's still the, the, the same yeah I think they are at the same level and then it depends on what you want to buy is if you want to have a normal aspirated V8 or a compressor engine like this so this particular model is not, not built with the 63 AMG the model after this the W216 I also did a video on a CL63 so if you like the newer model more than this particular model have a look in my uh, playlist there's also a link to the uh, CL63 AMG the newer model but I think this particular car is just it's comfortable, very comfortable, but there's a very big sports car underneath. Also when you put the suspension in, uh, in sport mode and you put the transmission in sport or in manual, you just get another car. It's just very nice. So I uh, hope you liked it. Put a thumbs up if there are any questions about this particular model. Don't hesitate to ask. You can ask me anything about this particular model or other cars. No problem. Also have a look to my, my playlist for another uh, project that I'm building. So. Uh, See you next time for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.